Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? And what do you want from the old buzzard? What? That old fool? The one who spends his time poring over old books instead of at the tavern? He's all locked away at the custodian's house. That's the big place in the courtyard by the monastery. Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? Oh, come on. What are you trying on here? I hope I can be of help to you tonight. Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world-renowned Conrad Kieser. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for? I need to talk about a shipment of new weaponry for the custodian. Oh, really? What kind of new weaponry? From the Steel Masters of Solingen. What? The fucking makes so much that you can afford weaponry like that. But why upset myself? Go ahead and visit the Wastrel. Here's the key. I'm honoured that you should come to me. Enter. By the horn of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Fayfar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Fayfar? Tobias Fayfar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fayfire has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little, uh, more than a little, critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. 
In any case, I went to Betlearn Castle. They locked you up in Betlearn? <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they lead me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons, thanks to all this unrest. And why are you here in Sassar? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. Could I not just pay off the Master Builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum. My legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world will be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who <laughs> says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You'll need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do.
Hey, Henry's come to see us. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? I need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. Supposing I compensated you for his brief absence, perhaps with some coin? What use would coin be to me if the monastery roof collapses? Then I'd be the one having to pay compensation. But the conquest of Talmberg is more important for the province. From what I hear, it's awfully important first and foremost for your lord. Sassau's always been neutral. Anyway, I take my orders directly from the abbot. Conrad would only have to leave for a few days. Surely you can manage without him for a short while. We might, if he didn't get himself killed there. I've given my answer. No. He stays here until the abbot says otherwise, and the abbot isn't here at the moment. Thank you for your invaluable assistance. You're welcome. May God reward you in kind. I hear you like to play dice. Always. Are you sure you won't release Conrad? You won't be gone long? Not a chance. Hmm. Well, anyway, I've heard it said there's not enough money to finish the construction. So, I thought as a lover of architecture, there. I might contribute... Fine? How the hell do you know that? That's neither here nor there. The important thing is to let me help you. How much will you give, damn you? Very well, then. Kiza can go. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Those are my last goddamn groschen! Look on the bright side. They'll be safer in my hands. Bastard! They're off to me! Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come! What? Who is... Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door! Not now! Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're off to me! Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course! Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? 
When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. I'll come to ask for help. Again? Such trying times we live in. God is testing us all. So what is it you need? Their lordships have laid siege to Talmberg, and the brigands have wounded Sir Divish and many other people. I'm to ask if the monastery might send someone to help. These are tragic times. Fortunately, I have only a little work left to do here, so I'll gather my things and set off for Talmberg. Thank you, Father. May God reward you a thousand times. Thank you. 
I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Do you know anything about our master Paycar? I'm afraid not. Good day. Would you be Master Paycar? I would. With whom do I have the pleasure? Henry of Scalitz. And what do you want from me, Henry of Scalitz? To ask why you've come to Sassau. An interrogation, then, I see. On business, of course. And who is it you're doing business with? <laughs> Why don't you ask about my mistresses instead? My trade partners are my own private concern. Stay away from Master Kieser. Kieser? Conrad Kieser? Why should I want anything to do with him? So he doesn't need to worry about you? Worry? Good Lord, no. Why? We were friends. Right, that'll be everything. As the Master instructs.
I left Prague, didn't I? Why do they want to kill Good me day, now? Henry. Well, did you find anyone? I did. And? He's dead. He was an assassin, all right. Lord have mercy. Was it Pekar? Yes. I saw him all too clearly. So they are after me. I knew it. Sweet Jesus, there'll be more. I need to hide away somewhere. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. I need something to keep our soldiers awake. Do you know of anything that might help? I do know of a concoction to ward off sleep. I can teach you how to make it if you like. But I need enough for at least a hundred people. I can't help you with that. You'll have to brew up a bit at a time as it's needed. So, do you want to do it or not? No, I need someone who will do it for me. I'm sorry, but I'm not a miracle worker. I can only sell you what I have. I need something. I do know of a concoction. That'll be very helpful. Is there anything I As it happens, there is. Drahamira, a widow from Ledechko, requested my services. But it's a long way on foot, and me with my back in such dreadful pain. I simply can't face the journey. All the way from Ledetsko? What, they don't have a herbalist there? They do, but she didn't want a local. She's a rich widow, inherited a butcher's shop. You know how folks like to gossip, especially about anyone who's better off than them. Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Exorcisms? You know, banishing ghosts, smudging, spells. A haunted butcher shop. All in a day's work for me. It's not a task to be undertaken lightly. This is a real ghost. The spirit of a dead man who hasn't found peace. In order to banish him from the world of the living, you'll need to do a few things. Slit a black cock's neck on the poor soul's grave? What a despicable thought! No! Do you know what smudging is? You'll need ten poppies and some flowers from the deceased grave. Once you have all that, bring it to the house that's being haunted. Light it on fire, and the smoke will purge the place of any unwanted spirits. Sounds like fun. I'll help you. It's no game. It's a very serious matter. Drahomira was terrified, and these aren't forces to be meddled with lightly. Fine, fine. Is there anything else I should know? That's a question for Draumira. You'll find her in her cottage on the very edge of Ledechko. The herbalist Kunhuta sent me. I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Listen, you want to get rid of a ghost, don't you? If the answer is yes, then stop talking. Fine, fine. I didn't think I was talking that much. What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. I can't take it anymore. 
Whose ghost is it? His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from Ledechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people who die such horrible death seldom rest in peace. Why do you think he chose you of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbours. We grew up together as children. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. His grave is a bit overgrown with pines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave, but it came again just the same. I know everything I need to know. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible.
I'm back with the incense. Can we begin? Good. Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I feel a bit out of my depth. This is my first time. <laughs> now you tell me. Well, get started. You've got the flowers, so it has to work. <clears throat> well, here it goes. Pater noster quies incarnis sanctificator omen tuum. Are you sure you're saying that right? Shh! You mustn't be interrupted. In nominate parties et filius et spirits et cetera. In the name of Jesus Christ, leave and never return. In the name of the Holy Spirit, may you find peace in the kingdom of God in the highest. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O Lord, may he rest in eternal peace, and may eternal light guide his way. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please God I can finally sleep in peace at night. Come by tomorrow to see if it worked. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so... This here. Thanks. I'd like to just... This here. Well... Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. This, and uh, a little something on... Hey! The troops are falling asleep on guard duty. Do you have anything to help? There's a recipe I know. I could brew up enough for two or three men with what I have here. 
No, I need enough for a whole bloody encampment. Actually, for three camps. That much? It would take me a week just to pick the herbs for it. Unless you were to do a bit of the legwork yourself. Seems only reasonable, since I'm the one who wants it. What do you need? Hmm, one handful of valerian and two of mint, but make sure it's fresh. And a little wormwood wouldn't hurt. Very well. So what goes in? At least two handfuls of mint and one of valerian. Those are the main ingredients. If you can find some wormwood, there's no harm in adding that too. All right. I'll look around for some. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. Here, and some... I've gathered up all we need. Excellent. This will probably do the trick. And do you have the wormwood? Here it is. Fine, fine. I'll get started. It's going to take a while. So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. Thank you for your help. Well, best of luck, lad. Now, I need a rest. <laughs> 